back to another video and today we are going to be playing The Walking Dead. I am so excited. I'm starting a new series on the channel. I'm playing season one and season two, all of the episodes. And I'm so excited. Now, this game came out a, li a while ago. The first season came out in 2012 and the second came out near the end of 2013. But that doesn't mean it's not a great game. This is probably gonna be my favorite game. It's decision based. I love those type of games and I'm just so excited. As you can see, I've already made an intro for it. This is my singular series. I might have Zach come on once a, in a while because, you know, that's just how we do it here at the Iron Bros. But I am going to be doing this by myself and I'm just so excited. Let, let's get started. <gasps> my new series. Okay. Uh, standard. More help from UI. So it'll tell us when somebody will remember something? Minimal. Turn off UI hints help and no, I like this. But I also want to let you guys oh god, this is intense. I also want to let you guys know that I wanted to play this on a controller, but unfortunately I was not able to get a controller going. I tried it and I hooked up my PlayStation controller and it turned it into an Xbox controller. So unfortunately I'm not going to be playing with that. But anyway, let's get started. We I so excited. I don't know. <sighs> I've heard this game is intense and amazing. This game series adapts to the choices you make. It's tailored by how you play. So excited. Telltale Games presents. I'm wearing contacts, by the way. Everything's a little blurry. In association with Skybound Entertainment, The Walking Dead. <gasps> Dude. Dude. I'm so excited. Episode one, a new day. So I guess it hasn't started yet. It doesn't look like it. I think people are just driving in the hallway like nothing's out. Highway. Who's this? He's getting arrested. Oh. Well, I reckon you didn't do it then. Why do you say that? You know, I've driven a bunch of fellas down to this prison. Lord knows how many. Usually it's about now I get the, I didn't do it. Not for me. Because guys in your position already said it enough. What are my options? I followed your case a little bit. You being a Macon boy and all. What's Macon? Oh, Jamaican? I don't know. What do you think? I'm just glad I chose law and not order. Big mess of trial like that. Uh -oh. Even if you was innocent, a lot of what happened can't ever be undone. I got a nephew up at UGA. You teach there long? Going on my sixth year. Oh, he's a you meet teacher? your wife in Athens? You want to know how I see it? Sure. He's got a really deep voice. Regardless, could be you just married the wrong woman. Uh oh. Don't say fuck you. I'm, I'll choose silence. <sighs> I'm driving this man once. He he was the worst one. He wouldn't stop going on about how he didn't do it. He was an older fellow, big soft eyes behind a pair of smart folk glasses. Jesus he Christ. He just wailing back there. Says it wasn't him. Crying and snotting all over right where you sit. Oh. That's great. Then before long, he starts kicking the back of the seat like, like a fussy baby on an airplane. <laughs> and I tell him he's got to stop. That that's government property, and I'll be forced to zap him otherwise. 
Is that so he stops, and having exhausted all his options, he starts crying out for his mama. Mama, it's all a big mistake. It wasn't me. Maybe he was innocent. Innocent? They caught the fucker red-handed, stabbing his wife, cutting her up as the boys came through the door. He sits in my car screaming bloody murder that it wasn't him. I think he actually believed it himself. Huh. That's interesting. It goes to show. People will up and go mad when they believe their life is over. <laughs> By the way, I, I put the captions on so you guys can this uh, one's a little bit understand. Less depressing and a bit more hilarious if I do say so. This other Oh crap! Oh, I meant to say watch out! Say something, I was gonna say, watch out. Is there my blood on the seat? Oh my god, there's zombies outside. <gasps> By the way, I've also noticed that I lean forward a lot. Oh my god, ew! That the sounds! Officer, are you all right? I'm still cuffed back here. I just looked out. That wasn't a smart decision. Uh, I might use the wheel uh, now on the mouse wheel. <gasps> oh god! This game handles very nice. Uh oh. You can tell when the music comes. That's okay. Officer? The officer says gun is over there. God. Should I? Why would he have needed that? I need to grab it. Can you grab it? I don't want to go over to him. God damn. I want to grab it. Shit. Uh oh, this is not good. He's gonna be a zombie. Do 
was intense. I told you to grab the shotgun before. That would have been so smart. Man. This skin's all rotten and he smells like shit. What the hell is this? Help! Go get someone! Who is There's that? There's been a shooting! Oh. Side. I wonder if anybody's home. Maybe that uh person is. I wonder if anybody's home. Can you? Hello. Anybody home? Calm down. You need a little help. <laughs> oh my god, he's so loud. Coming in. Don't shoot, okay? I don't think this guy dies. If we're playing as him, he always just die right away. Ah, Hello? I'm not an intruder. Or one of them. I need to just real quick. Adjust the graphics. The texture quality. Yeah, see, all of this is on, like, high. Oh, it's either low or high? Probably the graphics quality. I'll apply this and we'll see how it looks. And we'll resume game. These people might need more help than I do. Still looks fine. near the hotel so we had to get him back to the ER and have it checked out anyway he's not feeling well enough to drive back tonight so we're staying an extra day thanks so much for looking after Clementine and I promise we'll be back in time before your spring break message 2 left at 11 19 p.m. 
Oh my god, finally. I don't know if you tried to reach us. All, all the calls are getting dropped. They're not letting us leave and aren't telling us anything about Atlanta. Please, please, just leave the city and take Clementine with you back to Marietta. I've, I've got to get back to the hospital. Please let me know that you're safe. Message 3. Left at 6.51 a.m. Clementine, baby. If you can hear this, call the police. That's 911. We love you. We love you. We love you. Clementine, the girl we saw at the top of the hill? Daddy? Huh? Aren't we thirsty? Yeah, we were thirsty. Oh, there it is. Okay, that's a walkie-talkie. That's where she's probably talking from. Hello? You need to be quiet. Yes! Please! He was so loud, he was like screaming. I'm not a monster. Good. We good? As you'll notice, if I changed graphics, it's good. Uh, Where are your parents? They took a trip and left me with Sandra. They're in Savannah, I think. Where the boats are? Oh. Uh. Are you safe? safe? I'm outside in my treehouse. They can't get in. Oh. That's smart. See? Oh, can you see me? I can see you through the window. Man. What about the little kid? Oh, she gone? Oh no, she's right there. Did you kill it? I don't know. I think so. Uh oh. Sometimes they come back. Have you killed one? No, but they get shot a lot. You've been all by yourself through this? Yeah, I want my parents to come home now. <gasps> no! I think that might be a little while, you know? Oh. Look, I don't know what happened, but I'll look after you until then. Yay. Does she get to come with us? <gasps> what should we do now? <laughs> we need to find help before it gets dark. Yeah. It's not safe at night. Yeah. I would too, safety of daylight. Let's go. Stay close to me. Cause is, aren't there more at night? Cause like they're like, I don't know. This poor girl.
Oh, does our leg still hurt? I know you can see my mouse in the middle of the screen, and it's annoying me, too. I don't know why that's there. anything else but open the gate. Now we have to open the gate. <laughs> we can't do anything else. What's the matter? Should I stay? What? Yeah. I don't want to sleep in the treehouse tonight, but I don't know if I should leave. What if my parents come home? <gasps> She's still worried about her parents. I won't leave you alone. Let's go somewhere safe. I want her close. to trust me, okay. like really well, That's or this guy. We don't know his name yet. Let's just be his name. Hey, man! Holy shit! Don't eat us. We're not. We're not gonna hurt you. Yeah. Thought for a second you and the little one were both gonna give us the chomp. Do you know what the hell this is? Oh, that no little idea. Rough. So you've seen them then. You could say that. I'm Sean. Sean Green. Lee. This is Clementine. Oh, Lee. His name is Lee. Okay. I'm Chet. We shouldn't be out in the open like She's this. Doing a little How about you help us clear thing. the way and we'll take you and your daughter out of here and down to my family's farm. It should be safer there. I'm not a dad. I'm... Her babysitter. Her parents are out of town. Oh, let's get going. That was a bad Stay idea. That was a horrible was a idea. What do you want to do? I. The monster's coming. We gotta go. Leave quick. Let's go. It's just an I'm a friend. As babysitters go, I'd say her parents are you a tip. Decisions is gonna be so bad. I don't think it's a major decision though, it doesn't really matter. No sweat, man. I'll catch you tomorrow night. It was nice to meet you both. Don't say a single thing. Just wave goodbye. Thank God you're okay. Who's that? I was worried it'd be bad here, too. Been quiet as usual the past couple days. Old Brecken down the way thinks his mare's gone lame, but that ain't nothing new. I wouldn't have made it back without Chet. Well, I'm glad you took him with you, then. You've brought a couple guests. Uh. Your boy's a lifesaver. Glad he could be a help to somebody. <coughs> so it's just you and your daughter then. Oh, not his daughter. Oh, his God. Honey, do you know this man? Yes. Uh, I made okay, her lie. Okay, then. Well, looks like you hurt your leg pretty bad there. Yeah. But I lied. Oh, oh it was a mistake. It's not doing so good. I can help you out. Sean, run on in and check on your sister. You take a seat up on the porch that was and I'll a mistake. go see it what was I a have. Big mistake. Well, 
Let's have a look. Yeah, this is swollen to hell. Could be worse. That's what it sounds like. Seems like things got awful bad in the cities. What did you say your name was? It's Lee. Nice to meet you, Lee. I'm Herschel Green. Yeah, he knows your name. You're good. <laughs> How'd this happen? Car accident. That's so. Where are you headed before the car accident? Home. Where's home? Oh my I god! Go up and make it. We hit a guy. One of those things you've been hearing about. On the road. Who are you with, the girl? Nobody. Is that so? Yeah. It is. You said we. That's all. House is full up with mine. We got ah! another disgraced family of three sleeping in the barn. You and your daughter are welcome to rest there when we're done here. I didn't catch your name, darling. Clem... Clementine. Can't imagine... Ah, I just made all Clementine. the wrong decisions! I'm looking after her until we uh, find her parents. Hey, Dad. So I'm thinking, first thing tomorrow, we gotta reinforce the fence around the farm. That doesn't seem necessary. I don't know what you saw on TV or heard on the radio, but there's some serious... Shit hitting the fan. I don't oh. think anyone knows how big it is yet. I wouldn't worry too much. We're pretty far from the city. Seems like that's where it's the worst. Yeah. Stuff like that doesn't happen around here, Sean. Dad, I'm serious. Lee, come on. Tell him what you saw out there, man. I got chased by a couple of dead people. Well, do what you think you should. We got plenty of chores as it is. Lee and those folks in the barn can help out in the morning. We gotta do it. Really. I already said okay. Well, I'm all done here. It should start to feel better tomorrow. Thanks. If your leg gets hot or the swelling doesn't go down, you're probably dealing with an infection. What do we do then? We'll probably just have to shoot you. We'll clean it, redress it, and you'll be fine. Oh, okay, that'd be that's a joke. <laughs> There's blankets and such in the barn. We'll be seeing you bright and early. Come tomorrow, which way you think you're headed? Towards making, I suppose. He lied so right, bad. Then. have to stop it here guys that is it for part one episode one walking dead season one i will see you guys next time whether it's this or anything else we do on the channel and goodbye